David Carr of the New York Times has passed away after collapsing in the paper's newsroom. He was 58 years old. His death comes just one day after the sudden death of 60 Minutes correspondent Bob Simon. Carr joined the Times in 2002 after serving as a contributing writer for the Atlantic Monthly and New York Magazine. In 2008, the Minnesota native penned a memoir about his battle with drug addiction. Entitled The Night of the Gun, the book details his past experiences with cocaine addiction, as well as what it was like raising twin girls as a single dad. Carr, who wrote the Media Equation column for the Times, tackled the recent shakeups in his industry in one of his last articles. Comparing the rise of Jon Stewart's career with the recent fall of Brian Williams, he remarked that the latter might as well have an ankle monitor on. In fact, he took to the air two days before his death, appearing on CBS this morning to express his support of NBC's temporary removal of Williams. I mean, I think the tragedy here is he was the number one anchor in the nation. Um, everybody loved his work, um, but he uh, somehow that wasn't enough. He had to go and do all these other things. Colleagues took to Twitter to express their condolences. Comedian and TV host Seth Meyers tweeted, Of all the cats, David Carr was the coolest. Mark Halperin, the managing editor of Bloomberg Politics, called Carr irreplaceable. And journalist Glenn Greenwald remarked, David Carr was a great journalist and person. So sad. Rest in peace. <laughs>